there, welders. Ready to master the art of welding, whether it's TIG, MIG, or stick welding, I've got you covered. So grab your helmets because it's about to get lit. First up, TIG welding. This process uses a non-consumable tungsten electrode to produce the weld. It's perfect for precision work like car parts. Just imagine turning a rusty fender into a showroom beauty. Remember, slow and steady wins the race here. And don't forget your torch is like your dance partner. Keep it close, but not too close. Switching gears to MIG welding. This one's a bit easier to learn and great for thicker materials. You'll be feeding a wire through your gun like spaghetti in a pasta machine. And who doesn't love pasta, right? Now let's talk stick welding, also known as SMA. It's the go-to for heavy duty jobs like building structures. Picture this, you're on a high rise, welding beams that'll support an entire building. Talk about a view. Just remember, arc strikes can be a pain in the neck, so keep that rod steady and watch your angle. Now, no welder's toolkit is complete without the right gear. Helmets, gloves, jackets, these aren't just for show, they're your first line of defense. And speaking of helmets, ever tried an auto darkening one? It's like having sunglasses that adjust themselves. Pretty cool, huh? And let's not forget our four-wheeled friends, big trucks and big tires. Whether you're welding a patch on a mud-covered monster truck or fixing a tractor's chassis, you're not just welding metal, you're forging reliability. Drone shots of towering buildings, rugged terrains, and massive trucks remind us of the power and beauty of welding. It's a craft that builds the world around us. So, next time someone asks what you do, tell them you're not just a welder. You're an artist, an engineer, a magician with metal. Now get out there and make some sparks fly. Thanks for watching and remember, keep it hot and keep it safe.